Today we're going to work on a stop motion exercise. Stop motion is a series of pictures when put in a timeline, take an inanimate object and make it move. So I'm going to show you this now. First, in the assignment, make sure you always go to look at the assignment after you watch a demonstration to be sure that you remember the details. First of all, uh, view the demonstration, which is what you're watching right now, and the link will be there. Uh, view the samples of stop motion animation. So the two samples of the two different folders of pictures I'm providing, so make sure you take a look. Um, also, uh, there's two, the two compressed folders, which have many photos inside each. One is a series of pictures of a turtle. One is a series of pictures of sandals. So all you have to do for uh, opening a compressed file is first download. So we'll click on it just like anything else you're going to download and click the download arrow. Now for me, I'm prompted on my Mac to open with this utility that unzips or decompresses the folder on your PC. I'm not sure if you're prompted by a window. You may have to save or download to wherever you normally download and then you would simply double click that folder. So I'm going to open my folder now. You should see a series of photos inside. They're a sequence and that's what we're going to use. So um, I think we'll jump right into animate. First, here's one of the student samples, command return. The photos I provide are the turtle running around. What your responsibility is, is to add sound effects and draw on animated effects. So in this case, let's close that. In this case, uh, the student drew water in between the rocks and when that turtle moves through, she creates the splash and then it will repeat itself. Now, if you'll notice, the student has put all of the photos on an individual layer and I'll show you where that option is, but there is a simpler option, which I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, above in the timeline, she's put her drawn animated effects and they're on a layer above the photos so that they're not hidden by the photos so you need to have your own animated effects and then sound effects so they have footsteps and splash um, here's another student example and in this particular case the student put a little hat on the turtle and gave it a suitcase and as it's moving around they have sort of that rotating line just to imply movement and of course some music in the background. In this particular case I do think sound effects will work better because it's just a short little animation but if there's music that you want to add as well that's fine and here's the sample of the sandals and what I want you to notice is the sandals will climb up the side of the fireplace <coughs> and oops to do that um, all I had to do is put some tape on the back so when it's time to do your own stop motion think about different approaches you can use to get interesting effects also what you're going to see sorry about that things are just moving around um, not just the sandal is animated there's actually a fire in the fireplace so the change of flame each time the position of the sandal moves um, the photo is also capturing a stop motion of the flame so let's watch <laughs> Okay, so again, um, in this case, the photos are stair-stepped here as well. Uh, animated effects are not in there yet, but the layer is above the photos and all sound effects are above. Uh, what I want to show you, which I didn't, uh, this is the method I'm going to show you today, and that is all the photos were put into individual keyframes. It just shrinks up or shortens your 
timeline so you don't have so many layers to scroll through um, and so that we're going to do that now so let's start a new file and we're going to work with 550 width by 400 so you need to enter the dimensions 12 frames per second is fine for this click create okay so the next thing we need to do is import the photos to your library you never want to import directly to your stage so we're going to import file import to library and i actually have the folder already open i'm just going to select them all click open and i should see them there we go so they've all been entered in they're in sequence and you can just simply click on one, hold your down arrow, and go through to make sure your pictures are all in order. But if you import them all at the same time when you take your own, they should all end up in order. Uh, but again, this is your exercise for now. You aren't taking your own pictures yet. I'm just going to select all the pictures in the library. And to do that, in case you don't know how to select multiple, I'm clicking on the top one scrolling all the way to the bottom holding my shift key and clicking on the last one and then i just drag them now watch how huge they are they're going to overwhelm the stage but don't click on anything else just let all those pictures open okay so to adjust the size to the stage we're going to go to properties if you don't see properties here make sure you go to window to find properties and i'm going to change the width and height to the dimensions of the stage so the width is 550 and the height is 400 okay now still don't click on anything don't try to drag it because we want to make sure we keep all of the pictures aligned together so you need your align panel now again if you don't see it here go to window you have a line here most panels can be found somewhere under window so we want to make sure we are aligning to the stage you want all the pictures to align to the stage and we just want to center horizontally and vertically okay so now the pictures are ready to work with but if you notice we have one layer one keyframe right click on your pictures and this is where the two different approaches are you could distribute to layers and you'd get that stair stepping effect uh, like I showed you in two samples or distribute to keyframes and it's going to put each photo on its own individual keyframe in the sequence that it was taken it just takes up less space there we go the only thing you have to look at is the first keyframe it doesn't seem to place so you just right click and remove that frame and now you have your whole sequence of photos entered command return and it moves so that's a great little effect for stop motion that fire uh, okay so make sure you're labeling your layers so I would label this layer photos and you will need at least one layer above it with animated effects that you create oh it's given me this funny message okay and you will need at least one if not two or three layers of sounds or sound effects okay auto recovery finish please okay this is the basic process for the exercise you're importing your photos distributing them to keyframes adding your own personal animated effects adding your sound effects and submitting if you find that you can't finish in one session make sure though at the end of each class you submit your in progress work file because the participation in the work is what is being counted for your attendance if you have questions email them to me